So I'm not sure if you all knew this, but Lego has apparently gone woke, according to Fox News. And I have to say that I do agree with their assessment here because what Lego did is, I think, peak wokeness. Like, when I think of woke, this is a quintessential example. So let's go ahead and um, listen. Last quick one. Say it ain't so. Now, Lego, uh, Lego, excuse me. Lego. <laughs> Got me with Bogota. <laughs> Lego is going woke. The company unveiling a range of new characters in the effort to be more inclusive. Lego says the new characters will promote diversity and understanding. Some will have anxiety issues. I don't know how you show that. One will have a missing limb, another Down syndrome. These are really important issues. Yeah. Do you want Lego in there? <laughs> This is, this is so good. One of them will have anxiety issues. <laughs> One of them will have a missing limb. <laughs> She's now bringing on the expert to be like, do you think that do you think that Lego should be educating the masses about it? <laughs> it's it's so fucking stupid that I almost appreciate this segment, but. <laughs> We'll keep, we'll keep uh, here. And, and look at the Chiron, by the way. Lego goes woke. Figures with anxiety <laughs> missing. <laughs> I love how this is what they're choosing to dedicate time to. It's so fucking hilarious. I can't handle it. Definitely not. But what's so fascinating about this story is the divide in the country. Republicans think it's insane that they're forcing identity politics into Legos. Democrats are upset that they didn't make a drag queen stripper. They're like, you call this a children's <laughs> toy? Okay. Now, first of all, I think that 99.9% .9 of Americans, actually, let me rephrase that. 99.99999% of Americans have never heard about the story of Lego going woke. So... I don't think you can find a single fucking person on the entire internet, in the entire world, that is angry at Lego for not going woke enough because they didn't include a drag queen character. Can you find a single a single person? Uh, maybe I'm missing it. Look, maybe there's this world of hyper-woke individuals who are just very fixated on representation and all types of representation. But I haven't seen it yet. This is the first that I've heard about it. Where's the outrage? Like, usually there'll be some type of segment that they'll base off of internet outrage, which is usually like one tweet with two likes. Um, but in this instance, like who's who's saying this? And he's like framing this as some sort of a divide. Nobody knows what the fuck Lego's even doing, okay? What kind of set is this? No, it shouldn't be going on the way it's going on. But the reason they force identity into toys is because they think identity comes with a built-in political orientation. And that's what they're what? after here. I'm not having it. Wow. I, I just want to build, like, I have one, I have a Lego set that builds the White House. Yeah, no, imagine that. And, <laughs> and, and, and the whole, that's the whole point of Legos. If your kid builds with them, he's smart, he's going to be fine. If he eats them, you got to keep an eye on that kid. That's all they were there for. There you go. And Play-Doh is like that, too. Outnumbered <laughs> next. <laughs> if you step on them, then it'll hurt. Um, listen, as a bit of an A-fool myself, an adult fan of Lego, I've got to say that Lego has always been woke. OK, and this is not an American company, so they don't care about what's going on in the United States. They're not tuned into cultural issues. But Lego has been very woke. They released a set called Everything is Awesome. And it's a set that is basically the rainbow flag and trans flag and um, people of color flag. Like it's that flag that they're triggered by, but in Lego form. Right. And during Pride, they like had these Lego letters like this is what trans means. This is what a uh, lesbian means. Like they did the whole LGBTQ plus like in info thing. Um, so the company itself has always been pretty woke and forward. And on top of that, they have always had characters that are in wheelchairs or disabled. Like it's a, it's a pretty woke company uh, with regard to, you know, social issues. So they're a little bit late to the train if they think that Lego just went woke yeah I, i'm pretty sure they're a danish company right um but look i i think that lego can do whatever they want to because lego is based so i have the i have a couple of sets but my favorite one is the nes with the retro tv and it has like the super mario cartridge that is 
an amazing, amazing set. Building that took me right back to my childhood. It was very nostalgic. They even have an Atari set. Lego is just an amazing brand. And um, they're expensive as f though. That's the one complaint that I have. Not very woke there, Lego. Discriminating against socioeconomically disadvantaged people. But either way, for them to... For them to say that they've gone woke because a character has anxiety or a missing limb. It's beautiful. I would love it. I love hearing them describe banal things as woke. You can tell that like they don't even care anymore. They're just over the shit. They probably see it in the teleprompter and they're like, okay, we're going to talk about this company going woke. And Harris Faulkner, I think that's her name. She's probably like, oh God, again, another fucking woke story. I can't take this shit anymore. How many fucking woke stories are we going to do this week? But yeah.